All right, we are back. Um, so you had a question, uh, Laftal, about uh, the Underworld contacts. Uh, well, I, I wasn't... Um, well, I guess I would just be looking for uh, slave traders, I guess. How are you going to... Yeah, that, that's that's the thing. I wasn't sure how I should go about asking this. Uh, I, I mm, this is not something Laftal's familiar with, as in in character kind of thing. Yeah, as well. So, um, you would know enough about your guild to know that they do not deal with slaves, though. So, I mean, it would be more of a, you know, like, who can I talk to about this is is the likely route of information that you would get. And they would give me a contact, I suppose. Well, I mean, kind of it depends on, on how you're asking, what you're asking, and what the intent, uh, you know, appears to be from oh. the other point of view. Yeah, right? I see. Yeah, I mean you don't. Have... Probably a bit of gold would go a long way too. Yeah, but it's not that you, you can't really build up a rapport by like giving away this 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 person who deals in slaves away. If I'm just gonna attempt to sell out the slaver. Hey guys, uh, I know you don't deal with slaves, but I need some information on slavers. You might get some uh, odd looks, looks, shall we say. You're like, what the hell is this guy on about? Who did we let into our guild? <laughs> you let an idiot in. Uh, well, does, this mean, does this mean we're going to skip to finishing the meeting? Yes, I'm going to assume, would. unless someone else has some uh, questions. Uh, okay, well, like, uh, like I said in the break, Braxton wants a way to get in touch in right. case we need to. Uh, right, so pass on information. He tells you to uh, um, that you would just give a fake name that you want to meet with uh, a fake name uh, to the bartender. In here. Yeah, in this. Right. In this uh, tavern. And then, and he'd set up, set something up. Okay. So, um, I mean, he gives you the fake name. I'm not going to come up with it because it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. And um, now, uh, Yeldon, you have previously had some uh, contacts with uh, uh, the Pots and uh, Company of the Chalice. Did you want to go back to them and see what they may have may know? Yes, I would. Okay. Without ma spilling the beans, of course. Right. Um, Brax Braxton wants to go to the the pragmatic order of thought. Okay, he might want to join. Him. You want to go with him? All right. Um. You meet with uh, the same person that you met with before, and uh, trying to just get you know a uh, gist on what the current slaver activity is. Uh, are you going to are you going to do a cover story, or are you gonna you know like how are you going to create a cover story? Go in indicate your you know your interests. I'm gonna go with a cover story of. Uh... Uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna say some low, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say some people, some, uh, I can't, a friend of yours, not a friend. I'm thinking my company has been hired to do some, mm. even that's given out too much. We should uh, be more I'd of a personal the... nature. Well, Braxton, Braxton's the... going, go, going with you. You want to? You two want to? Yeah, we should perhaps something? discuss this before we get there. Yeah, Asher had a very, thinking. Asher had a very good uh, uh, excuse. That's for going to Green Shield, not for why we're looking into slavers. Well, it could be the same thing. Similar, similar, not the same. A uh, question. Uh, uh, well, I, shame on. I never met this dwarf. <laughs> it kind of meets the whole point. Never mind. 
What's your question? We'd have told you all about it. No, uh, because I would have said, um, do you have like a, because he's a noble, he might have had a picture made of his son, you know, like a, a drawing, an art piece. No, but he gave a... the, the rest of the party a description. Like, uh, yeah. well, if I ever use my uh, spell that I mentioned to G-Man in chat. Uh, speak with animals. I could use that to describe what I'm looking for. Maybe the animals will help me find it. Uh, a dwarf on a planet that's got nobody on except monsters might um, be yeah. uh, might be fairly easy to spot. Or even just <laughs> groups of people, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. I mean, we we are going to find the guy we're looking for. We're going to find the guys that kidnapped him. Mm -hmm. or at least if there's no one else there. I'm just trying to think because earlier I was asking about Miyagi slavers in particular, but I need to... Okay, well, well, how about this? Um, I've already been thinking about joining a pragmatic order of thought. We could go along because I want to sign up and... Uh, what is and, it? Uh, uh, pragmatic order of thought, it sometimes gets called the pots by idiots. <laughs> um, they uh, They want to stop slavery. They go and rescue people. Oh, right, I see. So, obviously, some of the people that have been rescued from slaves, when they get money, they'll they'll give money to Pragmatic Order of Thought to help fund it. I'd assume something that would be Levo would be quite interested in that. Yeah, well, well, why don't we ask Levo if she wants to come along? We could all express an interest in joining. Her backstory. To, oh, to stop slavery, yes. Uh, what do you think, Yeldon? Uh, I don't have a interested. problem. I'm not, I don't have a problem with bringing Lover along as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, he's is not interested in joining, but he helps them out when he, he he's the kind of guy who's like, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll help him out when I can. So how about you introduce us to them? You say we're also interested in helping out, maybe joining, and we want to know what's going on at the moment because we're floating around and we might bump into slavers and if there's anything we could do to help them what do you say yeah that might work as a cover story without giving it away yeah yeah i mean uh, uh, especially you know if you're operating under the nominal authority of the uh, uh, pragmatic order of thought to a certain extent no one's really gonna say Hmm, some do-gooders uh, who are associated with the Pragmatic Order of Thought have uh, attacked us, slavers. I wonder if they have an ulterior motive besides just going after slavers. Because the Pragmatic Order of Thought is known to basically, you know, Oh, there are slavers over there? Off we go! That's actually a very good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. And, and if we do okay, catch well. any slaving ship, and we kill them and take their stuff, we might earn a bit of money out of it. So it could it could actually be, uh, you know, we could actually earn money helping out the pragmatic order of thought. Yeah, and, and we'll give you a look if you mention about giving earning money out of it. No, what I'm saying is, slavers are, are evil scum. If we kill them and we use their stuff and we rescue the people they've enslaved... Win-win. We have money to pay to carry on doing it. Back. All right. So you three uh, go ask around that way. Ash, Asher, we're off to the pots. Did you want to come? Off to the what? The pragmatic order of thought. Oh. The people that hate slaves. Yes, I can come along. Hate yeah, slavery. I'll come, I'll come along too. That's all of us except Laughter, unless Laughter wants to come. Laughter will not be going with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so five of you go uh, to the Pragmatic Order of Thought. I'm really cutting out my XP in this session. <laughs> That's and, fine. More XP for us. Um, so, uh, you know, you, you discuss the things you, you're you basically going to ask about what, how, uh, what exactly are you going to ask them kind of thing. Slaver activity in the area? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to say we're the pragmatical, uh, we're the um, 
company of the broken sword. We've we're well I'll let Yeldin do most of the talking. We're the company of broken sword. Um most of us hate slaves slavery. Um we've been going around doing some things. It could be that we bump into some groups carrying out slavery and that we could do them you know, do them the favour of getting rid of the slavers. Um and if they've got any information maybe we can help each other. All right, well, uh, they uh, tell you that obviously um, the Illithids are known to keep slaves. Uh, they're believed to have something going on here on Brawl. Um, really? The... I know they've got an embassy here. Yeah, well, the Pots believe that they are doing some underground slave trading. Right. They have not gotten any proof. They have no proof at all, so they can't, you know, move on anything. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's their opinion. Um, they do think that they're that the Neogi may be doing something because there have been a couple Neogi ships uh, sighted in the past few months, um, but they don't have any further information about, you know, like a Neogi camper or. or slave market uh here in brawl space um mm. and there and there hasn't been one of those in you know many decades kind of thing um they they took care of one you know like 40 years ago uh which mm. they're quite proud of um, yaldin yaldin will nudge it towards more dwarven if any activity about with mentions of dwarven slaves recently without overtly trying to do so you just go through lists of uh, more. <laughs> yeah, the the pots don't really have information about the types of slaves being traded. Um, you know, I mean, uh, humans are by far the most common, um, but then yeah, you know, so are goblinoids and um, elves and dwarves. Do we hear um, about anything going on near the green shield? Uh, they don't know of anything for sure, um, but they do know that uh, occasionally slavers will set up camps there to hold slaves. Um, there may be something recent, um, either the Chainmen or the Tenth Pit, they're known for uh, slavery, um, but they don't have anything concrete. concrete. Yeah. Uh, but they do know that Green Shield has been used on occasion for temporary slaver camps. Okay, then. What were the names of those? Can you post those names of the group in the Roll20 chat? Tenth Pit and the Chainmen. Those are the two big organized uh, human mostly human uh, slave trading organizations. Yeah, and they're both they're both illegal. Well, uh, officially slave trading is illegal on Brawl. And those two organizations the, the Chainmen are flat out illegal. Uh, the Tenth Pit is mostly illegal. Mostly. Mm. Yeah. Like you're not going to get arrested for being a member of the Tenth Pit on Brawl, um, whereas chances are if you came out and said, hey, I'm a member of the Chainmen, you'd be arrested. Because the Chainmen are all about slave traders. That's that's all they do. Um, yeah. The Tenth Pit is officially a, you know, a, a human protection organization. You know, they, they, they claim to be uh, interested in ensuring that humanity is protected against the depredations of goblinoids and, uh, you know, not under the yoke of uh, elves and stuff like that. Mm. Okay. But it's believed that they do slave trading. So nothing definitive. No, nothing definitive. All right. What is definitive, though, is that Green Shield has been used in the past as a slaver camp, you know, a location for temporary slaver camps. Right. Well, 
I'll ask the, if it's more so the underside or the top side of it. Uh, the top side, they, uh, they tell you that uh, there's a plateau in the middle of the top side that is a bit safer. Um, and that tends to be where, where things like that are, are uh, done. Everybody's always going towards this plateau, huh? Mm -hmm. It's the relative safer part. Yeah, oh, if you're going to land a ship, you don't want your ship to get smashed up. Yeah, I guess yeah. you wouldn't want to land it when you're a dragon, huh? Yeldon nods at that. It's like, that's what he expected, but he had to ask in case, you know, they might, they might know of another lo landing location that most people don't know about. Well, they will say that... Uh, um... Expeditions, uh, you know, I mean, if, if you're making a camp, you know, that's not mobile, anything like that, um, that, the, you know, the, the safer part uh, of the plateau tends to mean that uh, um, it's going to take longer to get overrun or anything like that. Uh, whereas, you know, the expeditions, the uh, hunting parties, they can go just about anywhere. Gotcha. You know, I mean, okay. they're they're only going to be there for you know maybe a week or two, um, and oftentimes they'll be moving around. And I mean, a ship is a bit easier to defend. You know, it can take off, it can land, it can mm. uh, it has heavy weapons. Um, it's you know if it's only going to be there for a short time, you can basically land just about anywhere, uh, and you'll be okay. But uh, if you're going to set up a a camp. You know, and you're going to have a lot of chained up people, or you want to build a, a fort. Because um, nobles have tried to do that before, and adventurers have tried to do that before, and they've set up little fortresses, castles, stockades, that sort of thing. And some some of them have lasted a couple of years, but eventually they get overrun. Yeah. Dragon uh, comes by and puffs and puffs. Yeah. Huh. Now, yeah, to be clear, like... it's believed that there are dragons there. No one has actually seen a dragon. No one's like, or, get... or I should say, no one's come back with a dragon as a trophy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so. mm. The dragon kills them. That's or generally the, the opinion. That's generally the opinion that uh, um, you know there are dragons there, but the people who've tried to uh, fight them and kill them have gotten killed themselves. Maybe there's a purple worm running around there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ugh. Anyway, all right. There's a Lego dragon good. somewhere. Uh, any other questions you guys got? Not for these guys. No. Um. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> Yaldin's Ra next stop will be to go to the. Hang, hang on. Uh, any any more questions? I was about to say questions. Someone coughed or something. Um. Oh, Bra Braxton says. Uh. Uh. What what would the deal be if we sign up to the pragmatic order of thought? Do we do we have to pay or uh, I can we just have don't some sort of affiliation? I actually do not remember what the uh, um. I think the pra if I remember correctly, the pragmatic order of thought don't really have any duties or um requirements other than maybe occasionally they'll they'll say you know hey we need your help to go take out some slavers kind of thing okay well then hold on does would this put us at odds with somebody else though well, well it would put, it would put odds us odds with slavers the 10th pit <laughs> yeah okay. and some people may not respect you uh as much because you know it's uh, the 10th the 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 Pragmatic order of thought is kind of seen as, you know, alarm terrorist. Uh, no, goody two shoes kind of thing. And, and okay, seen overly green meddling. piece, overly green meddling. piece of crawl, green piece of crawl. Well, they're not green. Okay, they don't I'll care bring about. this up. You guys have a paladin in your group. You're already seen as goody two shoes. Yeah. Okay, uh, how about we say this? Um, uh, we have an office now that uh, my gift colleague here, Higamus, has opened. If you need any help, uh, send someone down, uh, leave a message with uh, the lady running our office, whose name is... 
I sit. You sit. And uh, you sit. And uh, and ask us to come up, and we'll have a chat and see what we can do to help. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was just uh, taking a look at the, uh, the thing. So, to you would you would be aware that the chainmen have a standing bounty of one thousand gold pieces for the head of any member of the order who has interfered with them. Oh, so right. that's one of the uh, downsides. At the same time, the chainmen are slavers, so you guys may not care. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay then. So actual would, head, uh, or it, is it the actual head, or is it more of like proof that you took care of them? I, w I would think that that labor has uh, already a lot to do with pe with the pot people, and uh, probably knows the chainmen and the the tent pit by heart. Uh, I think that's up to the DM. Well, no, it's part of our backstory, wasn't it? Being yes, yeah. You probably know of them, but you might not know who they are because they're secretive. Yeah. Well, well the, ask, the... Um, our DM, but the, what do you what do you say to that? I mean, she she did spend uh, about well. Well, just being a slave five... doesn't mean you necessarily know much about uh, the chainmen themselves. There are other slaving organizations. That's um... true, but uh, but her her quote master. Uh, oh no! Uh, took her to all sorts of shady places. Yeah, but I mean, you you would know general information about the chainmen and general okay. information about the pragmatic order of thought. Mm -hmm. So, um, who was it we were meeting, uh, Yeldin? I don't know the person name. It's just who I know in the in. The people I've talked to. Who, who, did, who, in, who did we meet, Bald? Who are we meeting? I would have to go back and, and look at who representatives of the pots are on Brawl. So it's not. Is it Terrio no, Mosantes? No. no, no. It's so not someone the else. Hide Hunter. It's not yeah. the One of his hunt, minions. No. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So, um, well, Braxton says, look, uh, okay, so the bottom deal is if there's slavers out there, we don't like slavers, you don't like slavers. Uh, if. We rescue the slaves, and the slavers have stuff. We'd like to have the stuff. <laughs> we, can, we can pay to look after our ship, and we can free your slaves. So um, that's what I'm saying. If you've got any leads on slavers and you want a hand attacking them, you know, maybe you've got some people you want, you've got some fighters and you want to do a slave raid, do come and let us know. Uh, they... they say that they will definitely get in touch with you if uh, uh, you're interested in taking out slavers and they, they have a... Yeah. Uh, they encounter something that they need help with taking out. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Uh, should we head on? Or does anyone else need to know anything? Uh, Yaldin would like to head to the Seekers next to research, to find out everything they know and what type of thing creatures are no known to be on the green shield. Not rumored. Known. Okay. Um, so you, I mean, you don't have a whole lot of time uh, to, you know, like do research, but uh, you talk to, you know, some of the, uh, the librarians and, and get some general information. Um, the most common stuff are, you know, regular animals and giant animals. Um Bears, I'm looking for specific uh, knowledges of any creatures that are like magical, most more magical in nature, and may require special ways to get kill them. Uh, they tell you that uh, there have been reports that uh, um, treants and dryads may be living there. Uh, they don't have any confirmation. Uh, they. Also tell you that uh, trophies that have come back uh, have included um, trophies from a wyvern, um, chimera, uh, hyraco sphinx. Those are like the the big things that they know of offhand. In in addition to you know 
bears and and boars and wolves and and things like that. I take it the sphinx that was mentioned is not a real sphinx. Um, some sphinxes do riddles, some don't. I mean, it depends on the individual. Okay. I am totally waiting for uh, Higamus to bear hug a bear. <laughs> it's not just a bear, but a giant bear. <laughs> a wow. dire bear. That might be bigger than me. Um, cool. Uh, they also tell you that uh, there have been encounters with uh, um, some goblinoids as well. They've tried mm. to set up uh, bases and stuff like that, but don't have much success. But there are still little uh, tribes that are known to be there. Hickamus's ear test twitched a little bit at that. Okay. And then he shakes his head and goes, You know what? I could use a uh, nice bearskin rug. <laughs> No, bye. Right. Yeah, then rolls his eyes at that. It's like, it's possible, but it's not a priority. Of course not. Um, all right. All right. Do you have anything else here, Yeldon? Not that I can think of. Um... um, after we leave there, um, not saying that we did yet, um, uh, I will need to, I guess, set up another meeting with the Chamberlain. Okay. Because we're not going to probably have time to meet with the Prince. Okay. I'm guessing, if everybody else agrees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I then would definitely agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, if there's no other questions for uh, the Seekers, then we can just uh, move on to that, then. Okay. All right. So uh, you head to the uh, um, head back to the palace and uh, meet with uh, Ostrich again. Dress up. Yep. Yes, dressed up. And I assume give your apologies for having to cancel and hand over the flag, kind of thing. Yeah, unfortunately, um, uh, a job offer came up that is time sensitive. He uh, he nods his head, understanding, and uh, assures you that uh, um, he will make the appropriate, uh, you know, apologies to the prince and uh, give him the uh, the banner. Um, I thank him and do all the necessary etiquette stuff I'm supposed to do with that. Okay. Uh, did Braxton? Did you want to say anything too, or? Uh, well, Braxton says. Oh, I was kind of hoping to see that hanging up uh, where it belongs. I don't. I was going to ask the prince if, uh, if it was going to be restored or anything like that. Um, I, I sure would appreciate a chance to come back and see it sometime when it's been uh, given the given the treatment it's due. Ostrich doesn't make any kind of uh, you know like assurances or anything like that. I mean, he doesn't know what what exactly will happen with the banner but uh you know he he gives you kind of a uh i hope that'll be possible or something like that kind of response mm -hmm. all right um and you know after just uh, the brief meeting you're shown out of the palace again um do you guys want to you know and anything that you want to take care of before you leave i was thinking about heading over to the fierce guild so i might have a line of inquiry okay so while they're all doing that, you head to the Thieves Guild. Uh, all right. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna ask around, and I'm going to actually I'm gonna look for Samara. See if she's a, a half and faves information broker. Okay, she's <sighs> generally available most uh, most times during the day. So yeah. All right. I. Uh... <clears throat> I greet her and I uh, ask. Hang on, excuse me. Uh, hi, uh, so I have a bit of a dilemma. I have had uh, one of my uh, friends, uh, he's been, uh, well, captured or seems to have disappeared or I'm not really sure. It happened out in, uh, 
out in Brawl Space. And I happened to mention around the Green Shield area. And I was happened to wondering, um, I'm currently kind of out on odds here, and I'm like wondering if uh, there, it might be a bit of a far help. I'm, I'm assuming he's dead, but he might have been captured into slavery or something. Is there, is there any way I could find out or, you know, inquire about these things? Maybe broker his release? Uh, she thinks for a moment and tells you that uh, if he is alive, um, your best bet would be to get in touch with the POTS, uh, since they know more about slavery mm -hmm. than uh, the Juggler's Men Guild does. Hey, uh, that's gone out that idea. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I, 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 I make no other further mention. That's just how it ends. Uh, I just thank her. Okay. I carry yeah. on. Meet up with the group. I just don't find any more information. That's how I'm just gonna roll that up. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, again, the uh, um, guild that you're I a didn't part wanna... of doesn't yeah, have anything to do with slavery and so they don't really have information necessarily along those lines. And I was trying not to give anything away or right. anything like that, so... Uh, as you're leaving, she wishes you luck in, in finding out what happened to your friend. I, uh, thank you. Okay. I meet up with the rest of the power. See what they've been up to. Uh, does somebody buy those uh, healing potions and such? Yeah, them. Yeah, oh, speaking of which, uh, yeah. I will. Well, I can't now, but I will have temporary healing potions ready for you guys. Okay. Um, was there any other um, potions that people didn't want to buy? There was another the potion of. One. There was another potion of invisibility, wasn't there? Can't remember how much there that was. Was uh, give me a second. All right, there is still available uh, oil of acid resistance. Giant Control, Invisibility, Clairvoyance, Levitation, Water Breathing. Is... how much is Invisibility? 500. Giant Control might be useful <laughs> on this place. No, I, I will buy the Invisibility. Okay. I uh, will keep them a trade bar. Okay. 500 bomb, yeah. So left we have Giant Control, Levitation... Two potions of invisibility. Shall I mark them separately, or are you just going to roll them as the same? The problem oh, if we get... I mean, you have two of them. Uh, you yeah, I know. I don't do know if this... Want, want to uh, keep them separate, though, because right. uh, you would have been told when you purchased this one that you don't have to drink at all to get the effect. Oh. How much is the potion of water breathing? 800. And how many uses? That, I believe, just has one. Mm. Okay. I do already have a pot, pot of water breathing. You do? Um, yeah. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm back. Uh, what, one thing I'm gonna ask you do is I'm gonna do some shopping for wilderness survival stuff. Okay. Do you have specific items in mind? Um, we thinking, might need some machetes. Um, I'm thinking it's things like machetes, so we don't use our actual weapons for that sort of thing. And um, hammocks for sleeping in, in trees. Because I think Yellen would think that's far, far safer than sleeping on the ground. Oh, what's the weather going to be like there? Um, yeah, that's a good point. The weather is... Uh, temperate? Temperate, definitely. Um, maybe a little bit towards subtropical. Uh, it's it's not, like, really warm, um, but it is warmish during the day. Um, Arthur's going to notice that. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't... You, there actually aren't uh, often storms. Um, 
probably about half the mornings there's a little bit of a uh, you know fog or uh, maybe a brief shower kind of thing. So oh, yeah, it's, okay. it's reasonably, uh, uh, you know, it's it, it's not like a, a rainforest type thing, but uh, you get, you know, showers occasionally kind of thing. Is there anything we can get to chase off monsters that we might want to take? Like, um, I've heard of dog pepper. Oh, or it's like sneezing powder or something. Yeah. There oh. are things like that that you could get if you want. Yaldin would just say it, the easiest way to avoid this is just things is to sleep in hammocks up in the trees. Yeah, true. But I'm thinking uh, we're not going. We're we're not going to go there to kill monsters. We're not interested in. If we got monsters trying to eat us, we need to get rid of them. You're yeah, the expert. So let's get some of that. You're the expert. What do you What do you think we can get? We also need our um, people on the ship to not get eaten. Well, they'll be on the ship. I mean, they could just fly off. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. The people on the ship cannot be landed to avoid that sort of thing. Um. Well, we'll have to agree some signals most, with them. For most normal animals, other than things that can be climb trees, sleeping in hammocks up in the trees avoids most of the things. Hmm. Um, thing, Judging by the climate, there's probably some sna giant snakes you might have to worry about, and and monkeys, but usually things like monkeys are play are more pranksters than attacking you. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing we got to avoid is Higamus chopping the heads off of everything and bringing them home with us. <laughs> What? Oh, I need an axe. <laughs> I will buy an axe. Anyway, Higamus only only chops the head off one of them because if he if he uses them for trophies, he doesn't need to have twenty monkeys and twenty snakes and whatever. I need to get a bag of preserving. Well, I mean, uh. If you know the prices for things, uh, you can pay them. Uh, if you're not sure, we can always talk about it uh, after the session. Uh, if you just want to yeah, say that you went and bought some some stuff. So. Yeah. Um, ba I basically want to also get like a generic. I because as a person, I don't know actually what's actually needed, but I, I would think Yeldon would know because he lived on the woods in his own for a while. Yeah. Some survival gear to avoid some of the problems that they're mentioning. I was thinking 10 gold pieces for it all. Um. Well, I mean, it depends on exactly what you want. Um... Say so left all. He's left all with us. Yeah, I'm with a group now. Are you any good at saying snares and stuff? No. No? I'm going to learn how to. Right, because I was just thinking, while we're going through the woods, if we need to camp, we could set some snares around us to catch That's animals or part. people that sneak up on us. Oh, yeah, yeah, then. Yeah, if you can do that. Yeah, maybe I'm you can not help. much of a trap. I was never much of a trap person when I was out in the woods on my own. I used uh, hunt with bow and arrow. Kind I of mean, thing. like it. It would be covered underneath your survival thing, right? Uh, traps? No, that's a different proficiency. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I apologize. All right, well, we'll deal with it when we get there. Um, yeah. Anybody who needs to go shopping, uh, go now. Get what you need. And uh, I'll uh, send a runner to let our crew know that we need to be taken off shortly. Okay. Um, and the uh, guys, is we're going to be going to this place to go hunting. Yeah, we for, are hunting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you hunting for? Uh, material components for spellcasters. And what material components are you going to hunt for? Um, Do we have to tell you by that? All right, no, I'll I'll say we're looking for a rare plant. And then, you've got two uh, harvests in the group. Uh, there are some spells that use levers and stuff, don't they? I'd have to look them up, but there are some spells that use those uh, ingredients. 
Um, well, Lava something. can ask around uh, what uh, sort of creatures uh, at the Mage Guild for what. We're, we're of... making this what about package. what about stomachs of giant snakes? I'm sure there's a spell that needs that. Yeah, yeah some sort of know. some sort of I'm rare spider. Uh, just just right. You people look. Just write down a list yeah, of see, stuff so that we're supposed to hunt. You you just need something so if someone says, "Oh, what are you going to search for?" Okay. Uh, I would say make it something easy to get because it's not our main priority. I know. It, it's not a priority at all. It's just it's just a, it's a, our cover a story to go there. And uh, yes, exactly, cover story. And actually, uh, maybe it shouldn't be so easy to get, so that you have an ex excuse for being there a long time. Yeah. It should be extremely difficult to get. Do you know something old, or do you uh, do you want me to go through the whole uh, spellbook? Oh, you don't have to. I mean, you can make something up. We need we need the so tusk. What animals? What animals are there? I'm just gonna say look. snake venom, animal oh, venom. Some stuff. We we need oh, we need okay. the tusk. We need the tusks of a giant boar, a dire boar. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, we need the venom stack, venom sacks from a giant purple snake. <laughs> are there? Is there such a thing? I just don't know. Who cares? We're looking for a giant right purple there. snake. A giant purple snake with purple stripes. Uh, Umber Hulks, are they, uh, are they rare? Umber Hulks? Oh. We wouldn't want to fight an Umber Hulk. We wouldn't want to fight an Umber Hulk. But uh, there's cares? a spell here that uses uh, Umber Hulk claws. Okay, put that on the list. Put that on the list. It's added to the list. You know what? That's you know what. Let's just make the two, getting... hawk claws the thing we're looking for. That's it. I think we're getting way no. too specific here. Let's just say no. we well, need to get some animal stuff and then some plants that grow here, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. But but let's write down the list. We're looking for the things on the list, and then we can leave the list on the ship and let people see it. And if we've got anyone on our ship spying, they'll see the list. I tell you one thing: if they see a list uh, that that I wrote, they 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 go and say something is wrong because Leva never ever writes anything down like that. Well, don't write it in your own writing. It's or supposed to be someone else has given us a list. <laughs> the paladin knows how to read and write; he could write it. Yeah. Well, well then come on. I think Asher was right. Let's and all. Oh, yeah, we're far really too complicated. Let's just go and say we need some rare ingredients, and uh, and uh, yeah, there's well, no need for a list. There's no need for anything like that. For, see, what, lies work the best if the the the, the closest to the truth you, you you keep. I I will point out that I did specifically ask you what you were going to look for. Yeah. All right, we're looking for amber hole claws. No! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with us looking for Umberhold Claws. Yeah, that's just what we're telling the crew. We, we just say we never It's not them. the truth. Uh, no, we, we've got... We've got a, look, Levi, we can say we've got Levi a list... Levi is looking for Umberhold Claws over there. <laughs> look, we can, say we, we can say we've got a list of 12 things we can that say they would like us to try and get. Crying out loud. Uh, old asked, what are we looking for? Leva said, we're looking for Amber Hole Claws. How about that? Okay, then. Fine. We'll do, we'll do that. It's not like we actually have to successfully find them, because that's not <laughs> our job. <laughs> Unless Old makes us do it. Old will make us do it. No, he won't, because it's not part <laughs> of the job. Okay, so you're telling we'll the see? crew that you're going to Green Shield uh, to look for Amber Hole Claws. Yes. Hold yeah. on. Well, actually, we that... are looking for Umber Hulks uh, to, to get there. One second, one second. Umber Hulks, those things are generally underground and everything like that. What's more likely something we would go here to get? I, well, I still say a giant, giant purple snake. All right, that sounds great. Yeah. Look, purple snakes are there. logically could be there. Well, so okay, could Umber then. Hulks. No. Who says they're not there? Let's drop the Umber Hulk and go for just a snake. Let's do that. I, it's a terrain thing, Leva. It's a terrain thing. Or well, everybody is telling Leva what she should say. Leva says she is looking for Amber Hulk claws. If you're looking for purple snakes, then you go ahead and look for purple snakes. She's looking for Amber Hulks. So there. Fine. Whatever. All right. Let's go. All right. Anything else that uh, you guys yeah. want to do before you uh, set off? I'll make sure with the Seekers that Amber Hulks are actually on, the, on Green Shield. 
Uh, the Seekers will tell you that uh, they have never heard of someone coming back with a trophy from a number hulk, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not there. Alright. When, when we go on the ship, Brax is going to say we're going on a monster hunt. And uh, there's a few monsters we're looking for. And we're going to we're going to Green Shield. When we get there, uh, we need the crew to be very careful to not let any monsters on board. And uh, if you see monsters, different circle around and come back for us. One of the crew uh, uh, pipes up and, and says, "What? So we shouldn't invite invite them on for tea?" And they all laugh at that. No, right? no. If hey, you invite you... them on for tea, uh, you'll have to pay for the tea yourself. <laughs> they they all chuckle at that too. Okay. Right. So um, uh, basically, when we when we are on the planet, um, I want. Uh, we're going to want constant lookouts and if there's anyone coming to the ship that's not us that's uh, some sort of creepy crawly you'll have our uh, permission to shoot it okay uh, they agree to that um, so if there's any specific equipment that you aren't sure you know that it's like you know you want to look it up we can do that after the game session um, yeah and you can you can do that purchasing uh, and uh, let's go ahead and come over to the sphere chart. Do do uh, zoomed in. Uh, last is gonna be hot. Mm. Oh, what? What? What's that? I, you know, I'm just gonna be casting a create temporary healing potion. I don't know how long I have to do that. Okay. Well, I mean, you could do it like I don't have the spells memorized now. That's what I mean. I will sleep memorize them. I mean, you'll have a good idea of how long it'll take to take you to get there once you get out into space. So, All right. Let's see. I know where this green shield is, right? Yeah, it's on one of my charts in Brawl Space. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it is a uh, moon of an air world uh, that is fairly close to. Uh, Brawl's orbit, and let me go ahead and move you guys over here. So that is the air world. What did I do with your ship? Oh, there's your ship. Is the air world like a gas giant? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, does the air world have a name? Uh, yes, it is called Idris Bobble. Idris Bobble. Because it looks like a model. named after some god, named after some god. No, nah, it's actually named after a a person who uh, uh, first saw it. They they thought it looked like a marble. Hint: I used an image of a marble for this. <clears throat> so, <laughs> all right, hang on. All right, so you guys can uh, see where it is and everything. Yeah, I was I was zoomed in on the wrong map. Part. It needs to be on the little map, not the big map. Okay. All right, gotcha. So, you got... oh, you know what? I think I was on the wrong thing when I moved you. There you go. Yeah. So three orbits out and a, and a little bit around. That will take us a few days to get there. About two days. All right, gives me time to rest up, get some. Are there are there any other moons orbiting? Idris Bauble. Uh There are, but none of particular interest to you right now. Uh, allow, allow me to rephrase this. Are there any other moons orbiting Idris Bauble that might have a slaver base on? <laughs> As I said, there are other moons, but none of them are of particular interest to you right now. Gotcha. <laughs> There's an icy rock. There's a little water world. There you go. All right, so I'm just um, I'm just trying to get you to design brow space one page at a time. Oh, I know, and and <laughs> I am resisting that. I am only going to uh, design <laughs> what I actually need. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys are going to take about two days to get there. Um, do you? Is there anything that you want to do on the journey in particular? 
I might. Give me a second. Okay. Try to get some cloth around Arca's plate meal to make it a little more quiet. Apparently <laughs> that'll work. Good joke. L Laughter raises an eyebrow, so that's not going to work. I imagine myself clanking around like uh, Steiner from uh, Nine. Yep. Um, Braxton wants to know if there's anything we can do to the ship to stop monsters getting on board. Have it fly around and we use this. No, no, I mean, um, like monsters might try and climb up the legs. Uh, can we put stuff on the legs to stop them? I saw something with with squirrels where they put like a little round thing to stop squirrels climbing up. Um, I I hear they do things on anchors on ships you to could, stop rats. You could try and uh, do what uh, um, one city did when they were expecting uh, football players to go nuts afterwards and uh, put Crisco on all the uh, light poles. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, Yeldon will just suggest is rather than having the ship landed the whole time, after they after we get off, have the ship fly around, rather than being on the land. So that way, only things that can fly can get to it. Well, they'd be better off leaving the air envelope and just sitting in space than flying around. But that would well, mean keeping... that would mean we couldn't get straight back on. I was thinking keeping them flying around so we can sing up a signal for, uh, give them a signal when we need them to land easier. Well, you can think about that when you get within uh, side of the world. You yeah. have to look at, at, you know, what's going on. Okay, so um, uh, Brax is going to be looking to see if there's any, uh, any way that we can put nets up or anything. Uh, you know, like mosquito nets, that sort of thing. I mean, you... Uh, no? Maybe? I mean... Okay, we just have people. We just have extra lookouts. <laughs> <laughs> it's background stuff, I'm I mean, just thinking. Yeah, mosquito netting isn't going to do anything against monsters. No, maybe not. You know, it's just going to keep mosquitoes from... Yeah, and stuff like that. Giving you diseases. <laughs> That's about it. All right. So, yeah. um, anything else that you guys want to do on the trip itself? I will. Uh, uh, I think uh, Higgins people... and me were trying to learn to read. Yeah. No, you can. Still... Uh, I, I I feel like Yeldon would give some everybody a basic crash course on wilderness survival. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hickamus is going to practice with the astrolabe. Uh, so the astrolabe uh, needs a room to be mounted in. Um, we'll say that you did some research on, on these devices because they're, they're not common per se, but they're known. Um, and they have to be... Uh, uh, installed a specific way. Basically, you learn that your ship is too small to have one of these mounted without sacrificing a an, an entire room. Okay. Right. Can we mount it on the ceiling? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey! <laughs> Can we mount it on the, uh, no. the underside? It needs an and... enclosed room without external right. light. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, so point of order is uh, when we look at ship holes, we need uh, we need a room for this. Yeah. All right. So, so... I'm being a bit quiet, I'm doing okay. Well, I well... I do want to use augury at one point. Some point. Um, I'm literally writing in new spells into my spell bag at the same time. Okay. While we're showing things, um, Braxton's going to agree some signals uh, with. The uh, crew. Okay. So maybe we can make smoke signals or something. All right. And I uh, Abbott can do signals for us. Sorry. I will mention that oh, we've we've had we've had Lava make signals for us before. Yeah, yeah, but we've got if if we're going to get the crew to take off, if they have problems, 
and we're going to want them to come back or come and get us, then we're going to have to agree signals of some sort and everyone's got to know them. And we don't need to know exactly what they are. <laughs> All right. Sounds fun. Okay. Uh, and Brax and I will learn how to read some more. Yeah. All right. So uh, you are uh, making your way. To... I will have um, mm -hmm. my first rest. I want to have uh, four temporary healing potions made. I have five vials. Okay. And how long are they going to last? A day a level, so four days. Okay. So one day for the uh, the trip and then three days once you get there? Yeah. Okay. I will keep two for myself. Actually, no, I'll keep one for myself and I'll hand out, well, Yeldon's. Uh, I'm good. I have two healing potions and all right, I will hand potion one to Lever. So you have a temporary healing potion. I will hand one to... I've... How heavy oh. are they? Just like zero one. Okay. Uh, I have two left. Who out of you guys want them? Uh, I think it's Akar, Big Mac, and Higamus. Yeah, I, no, I will give you all one, because I can heal myself with spells. <laughs> That's the uh, Okay. What's that? How? Uh, hmm. Braxton well, had well, one well, before, what, and it was really useful. At what point during the... Uh, trip, are you giving us the healing potion? One day would be expanded, so they'll last for three days while we're down there. You're getting them one day into the trip, so halfway halfway there, basically. Okay. And they heal for 2d4 plus 2. Basically, the normal healing potions, you just don't last forever like a normal one does. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I want to know the date so I know when they run out. Just in Everyone case. Everyone still run out at the same time. Mm.